Hey guys, how's it going today? Hope you guys are having an awesome day today. So today we are going to finish off our steel build. Let's get to it. But okay, so we know how many buildings we need. So we need 16 industrial furnaces. I have 17, very nice. We need 107 casting machines. Do I have any casting machines? No. All right, so I need to grab casting machines. Actually, did I put them down already? No, I didn't. I was trying to remember if I did it on stream. I mined this out, or I got it ready to mine out for uh, steel on stream um, a few days ago on my Twitch channel, which you should totally follow if you haven't. Um, and uh, I feel like I grabbed casting machines, but I never did anything with them, but that's fine. All right. There's 107 casting machines. And then... Uh, we need six, only six chem plants doing this, huh? That's not bad at all. Six chem plants. That's like one of our builds and I already have 10. Okay, cool. So that is ready. And what is this waiting on? I just want to check how our rockets are doing. I noticed that our um, science hasn't moved at all. Oh, you know why it hasn't moved? Because we don't have rocket parts over here and we don't have rocket parts over here because we don't have steel. Okay, so we're trying to solve that issue anyways right now. Um, Alright, I think that that is everything. Yeah, and let's actually um, quickly grab some more... Where are all these things going with U-235? Whatever, man. <laughs> I don't know what bots do these days. There's a perfectly acceptable storage house right here. Actually, maybe it's not because of all the barrels. No, there's room. We should probably do something. Yeah, we we should probably try and do something with all those those barrels, huh? Uh, let's grab all these, and let's grab a bunch more rails. There we go. Um, and then what else are we gonna grab? We need to grab. A bunch of miners. I'm just trying to figure out how many miners. But come on. How many miners do we have over here? 137. That's more than we need. Um, but we're going to grab them all anyways. And then we won't end up using it all. So let's see. We have 50. 124. So we'll grab another half stack. That's fine. Okay. So we got all our miners. We got... Uh, we need some more pipes for sure. Let's grab all that. And then what else do we need? Not too many beacons, I don't think. Let's grab all these speed modules, all these prod modules, all these speed modules. I don't know how many of them are. I mean, we are gonna need a lot of speed modules, so that is fair. Um, I think that that's good though. And we got pipes. All right, well, we can come back if we need anything else. But I always like to just try and make sure that I have as much as I need for whatever I'm trying to do. Um, and so the other... Um, and also, I don't know if I need to defend this anymore. Because I did a huge build-out, also on stream. Not a huge build-out. I did a decent-sized build-out of um, some defenses over this direction for uh, defending these new buildings that I'm going to be making. So let's see, we can just quickly mine this out with our bots. Go bots, go! Go forth and build the miners. I love how easy this is. It's like, it's like Christmas. You just sit there and everything gets built for you. Um, I guess I might not have brought enough undergrounds, but if I need more, I'll just run back. Okay, so we need only six buildings doing iron enriching. So that'll be easy. So we'll do one, two, three. And how are we gonna do this in the middle with the beacon probably, I guess? So let's do our belt coming down here, this direction, right? And then we'll do um, long-handed inserter here. And here and here. And then we'll underground this. And if we put a beacon, if 
we put a beacon right here, it'll hit all of them. Perfect. All right, so that is what we're gonna do. And then we'll do long-handed, 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 and I don't know why I'm doing long-handeds because they don't fit very nicely here. Ugh, uh, is long-handed what we wanna do? Yes. All right, so that means we just need to move them back one step further um, so that the long-handeds will fit. There we go. Okay, that's long-handed, there we go. That's fine, because we also need to get pipes out as well uh, for the dirty water. So then we're doing, there it is. Couldn't find it there for a second. All right, so we're doing enriched iron. And we are gonna need water, which I guess we'll pull from over here. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, honestly, guys, we do not need this many um, <laughs> miners down here. We'll probably repurpose this and do, I don't know what we'll do with it, honestly. Um, Cause I think what I'm just gonna do is do this. We're gonna do this. We're gonna do um, just these two belts, I think. I mean, I don't know if it even needs a full belt. It probably doesn't. Uh, this needs to be out one more space because long-handed needs to give room for our other pipes. There we go. I don't like that. Okay, there we go. And actually, um, this side needs to do, to do the same thing. So this, these, uh, this belt needs to move back one more spot as well. So let's do that as well. So that'll come right down here. I feel like I did the exact same mistake last time too, but it's kind of funny. All right, so one substation can power the entire thing, which is pretty sweet. And then, um, so this will be outputting enriched um, iron. And then we do have to deal with the dirty water, which shouldn't be too hard, I think. Um, let's see. 5.2 thousand dirty water per minute. And um, I don't know. I'll figure that out shortly. But then we need 16 furnaces doing this next part. So let's see how we can do this. All right. So let's bring our belt down here first. And we've got our buildings like this, right? Let's see here and here. So this is gonna be making molten iron, molten iron. And so these need, actually, you know what? We can just copy these. So let's see, this is eight buildings. Okay, so this is eight buildings. All right, so I don't know why I'm trying to, uh, redesign the wheel when I've got the wheel. All right, so let's just leave a little bit of room here uh, for pipes and stuff like that. There we go. All right, so that is molten iron. <clears throat> and again, I don't know why I was trying to redesign the wheel. Um, and then I guess we'll do another build like this. So this belt here is gonna split and go over to this uh, side as well. So this will split, come over here, and uh, come into there as well. And let's just power, uh, get power ready. All right, so these are gonna output, um, uh, oh yeah, they, they don't, out, I, was, I was looking for the belt that they output on, but they don't output belt, obviously, because it's a liquid. So these all output molten iron, and then we need casting machines in big long rows. So let's see, we'll, we'll start hooking the casting machines up over here, I think. So let's see, that's four. And now the casting machines are gonna be a little trickier because they need to be, they need to be both beaconed and moduled and they need um, to have two inputs. 
So they'll need an input here, or not two, well they do need two inputs, but they need an input and an output, I mean. So they'll have one like this, and then another like this, and so this is gonna be probably like this actually. Okay, so I'm just trying to like make sure that I have everything. So this over here is gonna be Coke coming in. And then this is gonna be um, the actual steel ingots being output. Okay. And then we need to fit a beacon in here and we can fit one here, I guess. So we'll do that. And they all have speed modules. So these are all gonna do steel. Okay. So that's four. And can this reach more? It can reach like five, but that's kind of an awkward number. Uh, and it's also awkward spacing, huh? So does this need to move over? Kind of, yeah. So then if I do this, is it gonna be awkward? Yeah, it is, okay. So the spacing on these is super awkward. So that's eight, right here I think, right? Yep, eight. So then uh, this would be 16. And the reason we need to do this is because um, of the beacons. They look like they'll overlap. So we do 16 here, and then this will be um, 32. All right, it's a very long section here. That's 32, and then we need to do this times two is 64. And thankfully though, we can reuse um, the beacons here that are in the middle so that we don't have to do anything extra. Uh, we don't have to you know, do extra beacons. So that's 64, and then this 64, uh, we're gonna like multiply by two, right? To get 128, and then we'll have to subtract a few. So let's do this here, and then we'll get rid of these down here. 128 minus 11. Minus 11. There we go. And that is the build for steel. So that is one. This right here is enough infrastructure for one red belt of steel. So obviously we're missing a bunch of buildings here. Thankfully not too many modules. We used almost all of them. Um, we're just missing a bunch of inserters and some beacons. And how many is this? This is, oh, 117. Okay, so we can get rid of 10 more over here, huh? So that's five, four, five. All right, so let's get rid of 10 more over here and put them over here. Okay, so this is actually the amount that you need for um, 100, 100. This is 107 casting machines, which is enough for one full red belt of steel coming out eventually. So I'm gonna go grab um, more beacons, more modules, and a bunch more inserters. How many inserters do we need? 85 inserters, nice. So we're gonna go grab all of that and then we will be back to finish this build. Okay, everyone, we are here. And as you can see, um, I have just finished off the build. Um, so we do need to do a couple more things though. Okay, so basically we're missing a couple inputs here and a couple outputs. So the inputs here are of course the sulfuric acid and water and then also pyroflux. So those are three inputs that we still need to deal with. And then <clears throat> we also need to deal with the output of the dirty water. And so then of course we're gonna have to deal with the stone from that and um, the iron as well. So that's great, uh, but that'll be no big deal, I don't think. Um, and that's gonna basically follow the exact same pattern that we've done before, like over here where uh, we get the dirty water, we process it, and then it has um, a priority to go back into the actual um, uh, process uh, for the iron. And what is this waiting on? I think it's just full. Yeah, it's just full of plates or ingots. So we just don't 
we're not even doing any more down here. Okay, I was just checking, just checking in. Um, so in any case, we uh, need to deal with that. Obviously, we need to deal with Pyroflux coming in as well. Um, so that is going to be obviously very important. And to do all that, we need to have rails over here that are bringing those things in. And our rails are all the way over here. So we have a couple things that I'm going to do. First thing is I'm going to pull rails over. And then um, once I'm done with that, then um, I will also do the filtration process for the dirty water. And um, then we'll set up all the stations together. And so um, I will be back in just a few minutes with uh, all that done. Okay guys, so we are here. I have all the filtration set up and it's ready to put output iron again and we're just gonna keep stone in here for now. I still haven't dealt with any of the stone from any of the other outputs yet. We also have a tank hooked up here for water um, and that water is uh, gonna be stopped at 2,500 so that it doesn't ever uh, exceed the maximum amount of water in the system. We also have pipes ready for sulfuric acid and I have the track extended out over here. Um, it's still hooked up for the oil, of course. And um, we have two stations set up that aren't, well, this one is gonna be for sulfuric acid because I've hooked it up to the sulfuric acid. Um, but we also need to hook up pyroflux and I'm trying to figure out exactly how we're gonna do this because actually, you know what? It can fit right in here. I was gonna say, I don't know where it's actually gonna be able to fit, but it does fit here uh, quite nicely, actually. Um, so we'll be able to do that, which is awesome. And then this will be able to be extended down this way uh, for our tanks here, which will be Pyroflux input, okay? So we're gonna come down over here and uh, actually not this one. Let's uh, go to the map view and let's come over to this Pyroflux station, which I know it's a little bit hard to see, but we're just gonna copy. And we're gonna paste here, but we're gonna rename this then. Um, uh, let's see, this, except we're gonna replace copper with steel ingots, of course. Okay, so there's that. And then this one is gonna be um, sulfuric acid and we're also gonna rename this uh, to be Steel Drop. And then of course we need to fix our train schedules. Um, so let's see, where's, here's this train and this one's already getting a little bit full, um, but we wanna do the same thing. So we're gonna add another pickup and we're gonna add um, full and then we're gonna add another, we're gonna add the Steel Drop and we're gonna add uh, either empty or uh, time passes 30 seconds. Okay, and we're gonna go to add pickup right now and it's gonna go to steel drop. All right, so it's gonna come drop off some steel and I think we can power everything up, honestly. Um, so we can at least start mining um, out the iron and this won't do anything quite yet. We've got our water in here. Oh, no, 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 no. Holy crap, that is not what we want to have, have happen. Uh, let's see, that's, I don't know how that happened. Um, but okay, so let's pick up all that iron. I think we got it all. All right, so the last thing that we're gonna need, of course, is coke for over here. So I still have to set up a station for that. But okay, so we've got 25,000 sulfuric acid to start which is good. And why is only one of, why are only one of these buildings working, huh? Ah, probably cause I need to insert into the iron and uh, not, or into these buildings, not uh, away from them. Okay, so they should all start working now. They sure are. And is this even fast enough? No. All right, so we need two long-handed inserters going in for these. All right, that's fine. As long as we know now and not later. All right, so two of these. Oh, well, that's because they need to be uh, productivity moduled. Now it probably can keep up, I would guess. A little bit better? Okay, it still definitely needs two, though. Uh, and output probably can't keep up. It cannot. All right, so we need to do two out. Okay, looks like we're going to have to move this. 
So we need to do two out. Jeez. All right, that's fine, that's fine. We're just learning, we're learning. All right, so out and out. And can, can we fit another one of these in here? Yes, okay. There we go. All right, so that looks good now, I think. Yeah, looks like we're doing good here. Why is this one not working? Only has one output, huh? All right, let's... Oh, well, we can't really move that one, this uh, beacon, can we? Hmm. Otherwise, we're going to have to do two. Oh, boy. All right. Uh, how do we get a second output out of this? Because this is clearly just exporting way too slowly. Well, we'll have to figure that out. I'm not sure how we're going to do that. Because we do need it working full speed, right? Um... Maybe what we can do is this. Let's try doing something kind of crazy, all right? So we're gonna do like this. We're gonna get rid of these. And then we're gonna do a fast inserter out like this. And then these are gonna get joined together somehow. Like this, okay. And then we're going to do output like this. And I don't know. It'll get joined in like this. Okay. That, and then we'll do output priority here. And then we'll do input priority here. Or something. I don't know. I think that is good enough um, to work. And then these obviously just need pyroflux. So we need to set up our pyroflux train. So let's do that. Um, here we go. And then we need to do one more pickup. We need to do a full cargo or 60 seconds has passed. And then we need to do, oh, these need to be time past 30 seconds, time past 30 seconds, add weight condition. And then one more station, this, and we'll do empty cargo or 30 seconds past. Okay, because it needs to keep rotating between all of them. It can't just like wait till it's empty at one. Um, okay, so please go to steel then next. Oh, nice. Okay, so it's already full. No path to steel, huh? Okay, did I screw up signaling somehow? Like what's up with that? Because the other one, oh no, you know what it is? It's because I only out have, um, our rail going that way. All right, so I have to go fix that. What else can I fix um, in the time being? All right, so we also need, well, we also need a uh, station for Coke here. And where the heck are we gonna do that, huh? I guess we can do it like this, all right? So we can do, okay, we cannot do it like that. All right, we'll do this. There we go. All right, so this is gonna be for coke here and let's see if we can do something like this i don't know seems good uh we're also going to need to have a station for steel ingots out here okay so that can be coke and then we can actually extend this a little bit further to do steel ingots as well hopefully uh, let's go this direction. Okay, I think that we'll be able to fit a station in here for steel ingots. Let's just check. So steel ingots is going to be like this, right? And then we're going to have our stack inserters like this. Yeah, okay, so this, this uh, steel ingots section will work. And then this coke section, um, uh, how are we going to do this? Let's see if we can do a warehouse here. This will be coke, and it looks like it can indeed work, which is awesome. And then this is also going to output coke here. Although we've got another, uh, we've, it's, it's a double train, isn't it? So actually, let's see. <laughs> How is this going to work? This is going to be a bit messy in here, but okay. So we're going to output here 
and this will go like this and it'll also split off or this will also come here and do this okay okay this is looking good and then you know what we also can do is we can also put uh inserters here um and i think that that will solve all of our problems and we need to have a bunch of inserters here for our warehouses and so that's coke and then we need to do steel as well nice love to see that uh reach all the way also love to see that and then this one is gonna be a bit awkward but i think we can make it work nice this, this is looking kind of cool in here actually okay and then this can come right here this can come right here and this can come right here and then we'll move them all over like this okay and that's everything uh that we need for steel check it out all right so then we just need to signal this which of course is going to be freaking annoying um so let's see this needs to come like this this is going to be we'll just do a chain signal here and here i think and then we'll do regular signal and then chain signal although i don't think it's going to matter probably can just be regular regular signal regular signal regular signal and i believe that is all signaled properly now um actually probably need one more there and this needs to be a chain signal not that it's going to matter because there should only be one train going there okay cool so then obviously we just need to power this section we need to hook oh and then we also need to hook up our molten iron so let's do that let's hook up the molten iron uh so we can do right here and then we can do molten iron right there and there we go okay so i obviously just need to oh my gosh and these are off by one that's gonna annoy me all right so i'll end up fixing that <laughs> oh man i can't believe I, that they're off by one tile i didn't even notice all right so here's what i'm going to do i'm gonna fix these off by one tiles and then uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come down here and I'm gonna fix this uh, track so that our Pyroflux train can come out here. And then I will hook it all up together and we'll see our steel start getting made uh, together. Okay, so we are here and I just fixed the track and everything. So um, I also grabbed some more pipes to finish this little bit off here. Um, so literally everything should be good now to actually start the process, okay? So we've got um, all of our enriching ready. So the only thing that we're waiting on is Pyroflux. So I switched this train to manual, so now it is on automatic and it is going to head out here. As soon as it shows up, um, I believe that everything will start working um, as expected, which is awesome. Really looking forward to seeing this in action. And of course, as we get higher level, higher level modules, um, we will be able to, I don't know if we'll be able to get from a red belt to a blue belt, but we'll at least be able to get further than a red belt. So let's see how this goes. Oh, and they all kick on. And did we hook up all of the molten iron or just one? Just one. So we need to do one more right down here. And that is all the molten iron. And oh yeah, of course we need coke. Okay, so this is this section now working. All the input for this is done. And this, look at how awesome this is. So cool, okay. And then last but not least, um, oh wait, I forgot the coke down here. Okay, so we do need to hook this up too. So let's, let's do this. And there's not a great way to hook up this coke. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna pull from this belt. There you go. <clears throat> and then, all right, so we just need the coke train to come down here. Um, so again, let's make this station black because it's cool. And then we're gonna say Coke drop. Um, I don't think we'll need Coke for literally anything else. It's pretty much just for steel. Um, so let's come down here. Let's find our Coke train. Here it is. All right, so Coke, 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 Coke pickup. And of course I did the station wrong over here. Dang it. <laughs> 
All right, so I'm gonna have to fix that, of course. That's fine. All right, so full cargo and then Coke drop. I know we're not gonna be able to access it right now, but we're gonna do empty cargo and we'll switch it to, well, we'll have to go fix that. Okay, that's fine. And while we're at it, we can do the steel train too. Okay, so I will meet you guys down there. Okay, guys, here we are. And we have our trains here. And you know what? To make this even easier, I am literally going to hook the tracks up together. Um, and of course, that is going to make um, sending or doing the signaling um, correctly a little bit harder. Um, but it is possible to do. Uh, so we'll do that. And then basically, we just need chain signals to make sure that it can come in here. So why? Wait, it does look like I did the track correctly. Oh, that's for steel. Okay, okay, okay. Got it. Uh, so this um, this needs to be a chain signal coming out, or coming in, I believe, um, just to make sure that we can't get in here. I think that that's good. Okay. And then we just need to fix this uh, Coke rail right here uh, to be able to go the other direction. I don't know why I had, had it originally going that direction, but that's fine. Uh, so let's see right here and then we'll come right here, I guess. And this needs to be a chain signal. This needs to be a chain signal. This needs to be a regular signal here and here and here and here and then two here. Okay. That's everything. Um, so for our steel train coming in over here, we can set that up really quickly so that it, uh, can start working at the same time. So this is steel, and let's see. We can uh, name this, this is gonna not be iron drop, this is gonna be steel drop. There we go, steel drop. And then we can add steel drop, and that'll be empty cargo, and then we'll say steel, oh well, we need to rename the station before we can do that. Uh, let's see, this one is the steel pickup. So let's see, steel pickup, there we go. And let's see, that one is gonna be steel full cargo. Uh-oh, dude, more biters, are you kidding me? I've already dealt with this once this episode. Yep, and there they are, and dude, they're probably gonna go destroy all this stuff now. Oh, that is so annoying, man, um, to keep having to go over there. I think what I'm going to do, though, to deal with that is part of the issue is it's not shooting down all of the meteors. So I've been doing some calculations. We're going to do some nuclear power over there. And um, we actually will be able to do all the nuclear processing over there because we it's a nuclear uh, moon. So we can actually um, do some processing over there. So that's what we're gonna end up doing next episode um, because they're about to destroy probably our whole freaking section over here, which I'm very upset about. Uh, this is a lot of uh, very important infrastructure. Um, do, I, do I have a freaking rocket that's ready to go over there? I do have a rocket. All right, guys, I'm gonna head over there really quickly, deal with those dumb biters, and then I'll be right back. Okay, guys, so I have dealt with that issue. And first thing next episode, I will be uh, going over there and I will be installing some nuclear power because nuclear power is not that expensive. It'll give us, um, I'll probably do almost the exact same build as over here. This build is giving us um, up to like one and a half gigawatts, which is nuts. So that'll not only give us plenty of power, um, and I'm not sure why we, this one is out of uh, fuel, but that's okay. Um, oh, it's because we're out of steel. We need steel, guys, uh, which we're about to finish anyways. So thank goodness for that. Um, but that'll uh, give us some breathing room over there in terms of power. And we can also do some, as I was saying, uranium processing over there because um, it does have uranium. And uh, so we can do some Covarex processing over there along with some uranium fuel uh, processing. 
or some uranium processing um, in order to sustain doing fuel cells over there. And in fact, we can even make some steel over there to make the fuel cells over there. So we can do all of our processing of uh, uranium over there. But in the meantime, we can, we can be sending over fuel cells um, just to you know get it going. And I mean, a couple hundred fuel cells will keep it going for a very long time. So that is what we're gonna do beginning, or probably in between episodes. Um, it's not like a, an incredibly complicated build. But okay, so we're gonna switch this train to go to pickup and it's gonna get going. And then we are gonna jump in this train and we're gonna go to drop. And apparently I have no path there. Hmm? Okay, how do I have no path there? Uh, also, let's not, let's turn that off. And let's just check, like did we screw up a signal over here or something? Probably. Yeah, looks like we needed um, uh, to change this signal. Like this needs to be like this. All right. Let's see actually if um, I'm jump if I jump in here. Yeah, that worked. Okay. So we'll fix it when we get out there. But that's the only issue is uh, that little bit of signaling. And once we get out there, everything should should <clears throat> start working for steel because our base is going to be desperately in need of steel right now. Honestly, it's it is uh, we're like teetering on the edge. We're like on the brink of destruction, but we're about to infuse the base with fresh steel and uh, this should get us working. All right. So here goes all the coke. It should all get started. And look, you can see these things are starting to work. Uh, these are not because they are not inserting. Nice. All right, so we gotta flip all these around. Uh, that is, of course, very fun to do. But uh, once we do it, then they should, dude. <laughs> I am about to. Ah, <laughs> uh, well, at least we're almost done here. And we'll be able to go back there, as I said, with nuclear and really clean up the, the power issues there so that we don't have any, uh, we don't have to keep doing this where we're going back and forth and back and forth um, a bunch of times. So I think that that is, oh, we're still missing all of these, I guess. Uh, so let's, I don't know how that, how I managed to flip all these going the wrong direction, but I, apparently I did. Um, and actually, you know what the issue probably is? is probably not biters, it's probably these. So let's turn this off. Off, yeah, yeah, you can see that they all got damaged over there. Okay, at least it's not biters. I was like, you gotta be kidding me already, I just came back. Um, okay, so all of these should be working and we should start getting um, some steel output and looks like, oh man, I flipped these belts around actually, that's why. Ah, I put them on the wrong belts. Okay, so now if I do this, okay. All right, well, now at least I know. Um, and probably should drop some of these on the near side, honestly. Uh, otherwise, the belts, I don't think they'll fill up, but it'd be kind of annoying, maybe. Okay, looks like I screwed everything up. All right, so let me fix this real fast, and uh, then we'll be right back. Okay guys, <clears throat> so just finished hooking up the steel and I think that they should all turn back on here pretty quickly. Um, I, is, are they just like all, oh these are short now, interesting. And they're short because these aren't working fast enough. Oh no, because this side is getting output first I guess. Hmm. Maybe we shouldn't do that. Maybe we should kind of try and split it more evenly, I don't know. Um, but okay, so they're all—they're basically all working, and we are getting um, the uh, the steel ingots as we were hoping. So for now, what we're gonna do is we are gonna hop in here, and I know that it's not quite full yet, but we're about—we're—I mean, we're doing pretty good. So we're gonna head to the drop, and it's inaccessible apparently. Why is it inaccessible? You might ask. Well, that is a great question because I have no idea. So we're gonna switch this off of automatic so we don't get run over and is it because this train is not exactly straight let's let's try something if we try turning here okay we can turn here 
So, something must be wrong in my signaling. Um, signal. Signal out. Signal out. There can be another signal here. Maybe that was it? That is it. Okay, great. Uh, let's not also get run over by that train. <clears throat> All right, let's try this again. So if we go to drop, yep, okay, good. So it was just that one signal that was missing in this little block here. Okay, perfect. It's kind of weird though that like the other train was able to go but not this one. I don't know. I don't know what was up with that. But okay, so we're finally gonna be able to get some uh, steel plates from these ingots and how many plates do you get? 10. So we have uh, 7,000 steel plates. Here. Oh my God. <laughs> that is a lot of steel plates. That feels good. All right. And last but not least, the only other thing that we need to do to finish this build is of course, hook this into um, our main uh, steel, uh, I was gonna say pipe. It's not a pipe, it's a belt, our main steel belt. And this uh, iron is barely even coming in over here anymore. Um, so literally we have uh, no, no steel, no steel whatsoever. So let's come up right here. And um, in the very near future, we are going to get rid of all of these buildings in here that are now no longer needed. And it looks like there's a nice little corridor right through here where we can uh, come but yeah we're gonna like we're gonna nix all these buildings and not only will that be nice uh for the fact and simple fact and reasoning that um we will be able to um just free up that space but we'll also be able to build newer buildings there as well uh which will be the goal at some point i'm not exactly sure when but we will uh probably replace all these buildings with some other builds of something. I don't know exactly what yet. Um, but okay, let's come right in here. And we are going to come right across. And then we are going to hook this up just like this. And these are, of course, not going to be fast enough. So we are going to do fast inserters. Okay, so then the question is, is, is this fast enough? The answer, clearly no. Um, so, uh, I think we're just going to do this, honestly. Um, and then we'll work on upgrading, not, not destroying, upgrading, um, this whole section, section of belt. And let's see, um, we're just going to do this. The goal was to have a red belt of steel, so that is what we're going to do. We're going to have a red belt of steel. And whatever, I think it's fine if a few other belts get upgraded that shouldn't. Okay, so that's a red belt of steel. And then let's also... Oh, it looks like this one already has been upgraded. Very nice. Okay, cool. So that is steel, guys. Um, and I'm hoping that... Um, so that one, that steel train is gone. And we are indeed looking like it's pretty close to a full belt out over here. And we still have a hundred um, ingots left, which is sweet. And let's come out over here. Things are still working out here. I might have to just, come on. I might have to just like check in on these things about why they're not quite um, all being used. I think it was because though this, um, said that it was going to supply 16 or 15.9 and we have 16 of them uh, so that could be why and uh, we should still pretty much be making like we should the goal was to make 108 steel ingots per minute right so if we look right now um, at production and we look at the last minute let's see steel ingots look at that 120 we were hoping for 180 and it looks like it's peaking at 180, but not quite there, which means that we probably need to increase. Um, we're at 146. I don't know. I think it should be increasing here, hopefully. Um, obviously, it's definitely going up, but the question is, is, is it doing as much as we want? And I don't think so. So you might have to add a little bit more enriching, but that's no big deal. At least we're getting like 
a decent amount of steel coming in <clears throat> and I'm expecting that well I don't know if I want this thing to wait the full time maybe we'll have this wait um, a minute and 20 let's say and um, why is it I think that actually the reason that this can't is having issues with like going this direction is because can it go to the drop? It can't go to the drop from there. Okay. Well, anyways, I have to figure that out, but um, at least we're get we have some steel here, and that steel is obviously being used very quickly. Um, but the goal then between episodes, I'm gonna figure out what's up with that train and why it doesn't like going to its drop station, um, and then I'm also going to work on getting um, some nuclear power over on our other planet so that we don't have to continually be going over there to fight biters, because that is pretty annoying. Uh, but yeah, that was the steel build, guys. Honestly, it went pretty quickly overall, and uh, pretty smoothly. And it is awesome to have so much steel. I mean, having a whole red belt of steel with just that many buildings is incredible. Like, as I said earlier, in vanilla, it takes so many buildings just to get uh, what would be the equivalent of like a red or uh, blue belt of steel. Um, that I love just being able to set that up and it's like, hey, we already have a red belt of steel, nice. Um, obviously, there, there's like a few, you know, kinks that we have to work out of it, but, uh, you know, out of the pipeline, but it's not really that big of a deal. So, um, next time, we will be working on um, Immersite, like we were originally going to this episode. And uh, that is um, going to open up the uh, direct line to the optimization tech card. So that is going to have to be next time though, guys. So I thank you for joining me today. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, it would be awesome if you could leave me a like and or subscribe to the channel. It would really help me and support me. And I will see you all on the next episode.